Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. You know, just a couple of things, guys. I've been studying all afternoon here uh, on a message for the Noon Institute that I'm working on. Uh, so I just wanted to share a little bit with you here. And this one really caught my eye. The Saudi Crown Prince launches project for first nuclear plant in Saudi Arabia. Now, I know for most people that probably doesn't really matter, but you know, it's kind of interesting. I'm sure they're gonna get the blessings of the President of the United States, President Trump. Uh, everybody will be so supportive of what, the, of what the Saudi Prince is gonna do. Uh, but at the same time, uh, they relaunched the sanctions today on uh, Iran over its alleged nuclear activities with its nuclear power plant. And, uh, you know, but if there's anybody that's uh, creating mayhem in the world today, it's the Saudis. I mean, they wage war against Yemen. They have financed the toppling of Syria. Uh, unbelievable of the terrorist activities that they're doing. Just imagine what will happen if they have a nuke at their hands. Of course, on their agenda is not just the uh, uh, Saudi, uh, excuse me, a nuclear power plant. They're also interested in other projects, uh, renewable energy, atomic energy, water distillation, genetic uh, medicine, and aircraft industry. During his visit to King uh, Abdulaziz City of Science Technology on Monday, I guess that should be expected, especially since they're going to create the city of Neom, a part of a tri-state venture with Israel, Egypt, and the United Kingdom. Hmm. That's one of those things that they say that do make you go, hmm, right? Exactly. I don't know what to think about this. I don't like it. I just tell you like it is. Also, this was kind of interesting right here. The United States uh, had a uh, EP-3 uh, intercepted in the Black Sea by Russia's Su-27. U.S. Navy says it's putting their aircraft at risk. And uh, I can understand what the U.S. Navy is saying, but I think that Russia is trying to send a message. Do you really need to fly in our airspace on a regular basis and not anticipate that we're going to come here and let you know we don't like it? Well, the U.S. military does the same to Russian aircraft that's flying over in our airspace when they come around Alaska. You better believe it. We send up the fighter jets as well, and we let Russia know, stay out of our airspace. Well, I think Russia's doing the same. We cannot expect uh, to treat others any other way than what we expect to be treated. I'm sure many would say, oh, we don't do that. We don't ever do that. Yeah, we don't overthrow nations either, do we? Yeah, come on, please. Please, guys, please quit believing this nonsense. There is another issue, too, that I wanted to share with you, and let me see if I can find it. Um, it this was a, a, a video that I saw come out, and I don't know if I have it up on my page here. I don't think I retweeted it. Uh, this was a, the, oh, let me, let me just see. Hang on, just give me a second. I, I gotta find this here. Um, and again, I, like I said, I don't think I retweeted. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. There are some uh, Jewish people out there. Wait a minute. Actually, I think it is. One second. Um, I seen this earlier. And I can't think of the Jewish guy's name. But uh, he had put up a video about voting and how that the Christians are not out there voting, and that they have three million Christians in the state of Florida that are, not reg that are registered to vote, but they don't come out and vote at the polls. And of course, they were asking, um, whoa, wait a minute, I didn't catch this one earlier, guys. The Russian Navy amassing its ships off Syrian coast in preparation to strike jihadists. Wow, that was one that slipped past me. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, real quick, I'll just tell you what, what it was about this uh, video that I was looking at here. Um, they were saying on there that the Christians need to get out to vote to support standing with Israel. 
Uh, and you know, that, that there's only one thing I, I would be with them if it wasn't for the fact that I know that the Christians in Israel, uh, Israeli born Christians, let me kind of clarify that were not being suppressed in, in the threat of losing their citizenship. And also that the Palestinian Christians, uh, well, they just consider those cannon fodder. You know, listen, if you want Christians to vote Republican, because, and, and I do agree, Republicans do stand for gun rights. I appreciate that. Uh, I've been a Republican most of my life as well. But at the same time, though, I don't want to see our people supporting Zionist views and it be Christians when they're not standing for the Christians that are Israelis. I mean, if you're a Christian in America, you're evangelical, yes, they'll love you, no problem whatsoever, stand with Israel, just get your vote in there, that's great. But if you're an Israeli, and you're a believer in Yeshua, we had the, uh, the Hyde family on, native Israelis, that are in danger of losing their citizenship because they believe in Yeshua as Messiah. They were on our channel, drug into courts on numerous occasions, right? Yeah, you don't hear much about that, do you? Another friend of mine, a Jewish Israeli, he says, Steve, don't say anything about what I'm doing here because if you do, they'll throw me out of the country. And he has his Israeli citizenship. Uh, Parat, Zev Parat. He's also talked about the persecution by the Israeli government because he's a believer. All right? Now, the only thing I'm saying to American politicians and to the Christian community that supports the politicians that support Israel, I would not vote for them unless they make a stand for the believers that are in Israel. And not just the Jewish Israeli believers, but also take a stand for the Palestinian believers as well. Because, by the way, it is the Israeli believers going into the West Bank and into Gaza and winning more Palestinians to Christ. And not only that, when they can't make it there, the next thing you know, the Palestinians are having miraculous visits by Yeshua himself because no one will dare take the gospel to them because they have been considered the outcast of the world. That's a shame. That is a major shame. You know... I love my people. I love the state of Israel. But we have got to use some wisdom when it comes to standing with Israel. Because there are too many crooked politicians that are not standing for the right reason. Let's take a look at this article right here. What's going on? Russian Navy amasses its ships off Syrian coast in preparation to strike jihadist. Yeah, that slipped past me there, guys. The Russian Navy has been amassing a large number of ships off the coast of Syria as the Sochi Agreement continues to fall apart. According to media reports, Russia has sent their Admiral Makarov frigate with a long range of caliber cruise missiles to the Mediterranean. It will join the Admiral Grigovac, Admiral Essen, and the uh, PYT Livy frigates landing ships. Wow, something big is going to go down there, guys. I already saw where Russia was talking about they expect the White Elmas to do another false flag chemical attack. This move by the Russian Navy appears to be in response to the constant ceasefire violations committed by the jihadist rebels inside the Idlib buffer zone. A military source told Damascus, uh, told, excuse me, source in Damascus told Al Masada News this afternoon that Russian naval buildup was conducted in response to the ceasefire violations and refusal of armed groups to leave the buffer zone. It wasn't going to last forever, was it? Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. War is on the horizon. Erev Tov.